Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. It's a big Buenos Dias today, boys. We are getting ready to do some pulls. Steve, you get some good sleep? Yep. Ready to rip? Ready to rip. All right. We uh, are feeling good. We ended up finding that one of our methanol injectors was leaking last night. That's why I was running a little weird. So we got that figured out right after we turned off the cameras. So we're starting off today on a better foot. Fire this thing up. This thing just sounds cool on the starter. Oh, yeah. I just love it. It's like. Do we have plenty of 93 for today? Yeah, yeah it's okay. good. I just checked it. So we needed some more fuel pressure. So we went ahead and we went ahead and took this little spring out of the fuel pressure regulator, put the big dog in it. We're getting ready to make a hit. So guys, just remember the car is on pump gas till it sees two pounds of boost. Then it'll switch to methanol. And it might be a little rough on these first couple of transitions because we haven't done much tuning in that department. We'll see. All righty. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go. First pull. All right, well, we found a timing modifier that was throwing things off because our water temp sensor is reading incorrectly right now. All right, screen on right? Screen's on right, you're good to go. Here we go. Twelve eighty-five. <laughs> what? It should have made. Uh, let's see. I bet you it probably only made seven pounds of boost. Eight oh pounds of my boost. gosh! Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm forgetting that the engine made eight ninety with yeah. no boost. So, shoo we! It made twelve eighty-five, one thousand sixteen foot-pounds of torque. Ooh, oh, that'd be a little more boost. 11 pounds. Yep, 11, 12 pounds. Isn't that the <laughs> most relaxed 1,285 Dude. horsepower you ever heard? Is that even a full pull? Yeah, I mean, what's the 6,700 RPM? Made 1,285 nice. first pull. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. How much boost was it? 11 pounds. Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh. gosh, dude. Well gonna obliterate the record that's yeah i think the record is like 1420 so James is done. what'd you change uh so i just cleaned up the fuel just a little bit right there timing looks good um 
Actually, I'm going to put a little, another five pounds of boost into it. Let her eat. Let her eat, so son. I love it. I like it. Dude, this guy has yeah. no no patience. He just goes right for 1,200. First pull. Hey, hold my freedom. Hold I my can't. Freedom. Whoa. Whoa. All right, so spun the tire down to 1,016 horsepower. So the dyno did not stick on that one. We're either gonna have to figure something out to strap this thing down harder, or maybe get some sticky stuff. Out, down the back yeah, what if we completely air out the tires to the wheel, tighten the freaking <laughs> heck out of the straps, and then we'll just fill it back up and get it as tight as we can. So that's probably 1,500 some horsepower. That'd be about 1,500. Spun. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> we need hub dyno brother guys we're laughing because when we're out here making 1350 through our ls it's like Wah! you know full screaming chooching out the pipes this thing's just Wah! done probably made 1500 last pull but spun so we're gonna do same boost on this one yeah okay so we're gonna do the same boost we strapped it down tighter we got some adhesive on the tires Turn it up some. Yeah, you definitely turned it up some. Dude, we need to take crim adhesive to the track with us. <laughs> 1609. So we made a pull before that and uh, it spun again. We put that spray adhesive on it and I think you turned it up a little bit. And it yeah, just at higher RPM. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 1600 wheel. That's insane. <laughs> Dude, did you see it separate? Yes, I saw the suspension was like just trying its hardest to get away from the, the sidewall. Uh, it was trying to rip off the dyno. Poor straps back yeah, here. Taking, probably just taking a beating, dude. You can probably play the guitar on these things. Ding. It's crazy because it just doesn't sound like 1600 no, horsepower. It's, it's just. Brrr. The transition was a lot better through there. Way too. better. Yeah. Way better. Nice job on that. How much boost we got there? 19. 19, 19 pounds of boost. <laughs> it's on cruise control, dude. That is. <laughs> so crazy so steve kind of told us the theory is every pound of boost is 100 horsepower at the engine so if he made 19 pounds of boost the engine's making about 1900 which would seem about right going through the transmission and all that what you think 300 horsepower loss uh yeah probably especially when you, when you got it strapped down so tight yeah it actually drives your your losses up oh really the tire is the major point of that's why hub dynos are like 10 percent less tire dynos are going to be probably 20 maybe up to 25 percent if you're just like ratcheting wow. it down it takes so much power away oh, from it interesting well 1600 still the dyno record here by well, we, 300 we'll horsepower be okay <laughs> all right well, whatever you it, say right hold it. all right those uh precision turbos freaking winding up immediately they're really yeah they're spooled up really quick so even in that when it's just that part throttle i'm just bringing it up on bringing yeah. up an rpm it's already making like a pound two pounds that's <laughs> crazy so it's pretty crazy so they're 94s and uh we thought you know they might be a little laggy but that 540 is really pushing some air through they got huge back housings though i was surprised yeah. at how fast it spools yeah it's, it's efficiency you know working good how much yeah, boost are we gonna go for here uh i'd like to see about like 25. <laughs> dude you're like a beast i love doing the five psi increments i don't, I don't have time for two psi changes PSI. this is great look at the titanium starting to heat up you're going for 25 psi so who knows that could be forty thousand horsepower <laughs> he, might wait on his DS on he might flip the shop <laughs> it's 
it's really nice having the guy who built the engine in charge of the laptop because there ain't nobody else to blame. <laughs> Just nice smooth poles. Didn't even hit the 8,000 mark. Right about so, here. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm shutting it off a little early because it's it's accelerating really fast up through there. Ready to make 2,000 horsepower? Let's do it. Okay, cool. great. I think the adhesive thing's been working, so let's just do it again. Yeah, we'll do that again. Sure. Get, get it all fired yep. up, everything on the I'm gonna see you. Let the live action begin. Come on, hun. Get the fudge out. 1940. Dang it. All right. We'll fix it. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Couple buttons. Couple buttons. 100 horse there. 200 horse there. 1,320 foot pounds of torque. What do you know? Mm -hmm. Hey, Steve, if I put it on standard, it made 2,030. Yeah. 2,023. Since we started on the SAE setting, we got to no, we'll do it. we'll stay on SAE. We got to do it on the SAE. We can make more power. That ain't the problem. <laughs> yeah. It made 1,320 foot-pounds of torque exactly. Yeah, and our yeah, EG, EGTs are still cold, too. So really? Probably it's should... so crazy how quick the pole is. It's just because it's making so much power. You yeah. Have, you have I to just, slow it down. Like, it's like a quarter-long pole. Like, I don't know. It's so short. Yeah. All right. Ride. Let it roll, brother. <laughs> <laughs> let's go steve right, let's go buddy <laughs> two thousand horsepower <laughs> oh brother yeah what is the max on this dyno i don't even know that was it next pull is just oh yeah it looked like it still was hooking so are we done steve are we good I'm done. I'm, if you're happy, I'm happy. I'm if happy, brother. Day, no, no. Nah, <laughs> that was, I didn't want to say anything until it was fully over. That was a insanely smooth dyno session. Like, when do they go that smooth? I don't know. It, it's never gone that smooth. Like that, it's never gone that smooth. I blame Steve. I, I told you, what did I say this morning? I said it'd probably be five or six pulls. You're I think a beast, that, I think man. That was, you're a beast. That was probably six, wasn't it? Six that, yeah, yeah, because we had those couple <laughs> with the issues with the spinning. So, well, I feel like this is a good time to plug your channel, Steve. You guys should go yes. check out Steve's YouTube stuff. He's got a lot going on now. Yeah, and I got a really good uh, Steve Tech video section. You know, where I just break things down, real simple. So if you go on my YouTube channel, go to uh, playlist and go to the Steve Tech, 
There's a lot of good videos on how you balance a crankshaft, how you bore block, how you do a valve job, how these things work so y'all know. You know, so the average guy can take a look at it and see what's going on. And you got to prove that you know what you're doing. So, <laughs> I mean, show it up and bring it made happen. <laughs> that is awesome, man. Well, huge thanks to Steve for coming out here and actually tuning the car himself. No one to blame when the engine guy is also the tuner. I mean, that just makes dials everything in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much, Steve, for coming down to Florida. Yeah. Quick trip. Bye again. All right. Well, guys, Mullet made 2,000 horsepower. Now we got to go to the track and actually try and put that to use. We're going to finish up the car. Obviously, Ty's got to do the downpipes. Zach's over here putting door seals in and finishing the wiring on the windows and then put the big tires on it, hook the trailer up to it, and send it off to Midwest Drag Week. So we got a really busy week coming up for this car. But I'll end it off there. Thanks for watching New Dale. We will freaking see you later.